So here's the question. Josie is 3.75 miles away, three and three quarters miles away, which is horizontal map distance from a mountain. She's wondering how tall a mountain is. Using an altimeter, she finds out that her angle of elevation looking up to the peak of the mountain is 42 degrees. Now she stands six feet two inches tall, which means that her eyes are exactly six feet from the ground. Now how fortunate is that? Okay, obviously we're making some assumptions here, and that is that she does have an altimeter. She knows what the angle of elevation means, and that um, she needs to find the height of the mountain. Okay, um, now she doesn't happen to have a calculator with her, but when she gets back home, she can kind of figure this out. Now we're also going to assume on the map that it doesn't have the elevation of the mountain. Okay, maybe it's unnamed mountain or something. Now this type of problem, I know it's sort of constructed in a strange way here, but the idea is we need to apply what we know about trig to angle of elevation. Okay, now this is a, a pretty typical angle of elevation type of question. So what we got to do is we're going to draw a right triangle. Okay, as best as we can. And knowing that when we measure um, the elevation of a mountain, it is a right triangle type of relationship. Okay, now we know that her angle of elevation is 42 degrees. Okay, and we also know that she is six feet tall. Okay, now we're going to have to do some uh, calculating here and adjusting at the end. Okay, she's her eyes are actually six feet above the ground. Okay, so we'll deal with that when we get done. All right, we need to know how tall the mountain is. Okay, now normally we measure mountain height and elevations in general in feet. Okay, she is 3.75 horizontal miles away. All right, so the first thing we're going to have to do is multiply 5,280 by 3.75 because we want our answer to be in feet, okay? The mountain needs to be measured in feet. So go ahead and figure that out first. I hope you agree with me that we get 19,800 feet, okay? That's how many feet away from the horizontal, um, horizontal distance away from the mountain. All right, now the next step is to use the angle of elevation as part of our calculation. Okay, what are we going to do? So when we look at our right triangle, we notice that our angle of reference is right here, 42 degrees. Okay, now we got to remember our trig functions, and we notice that we have over here the opposite leg from our reference angle, which we're calling it x right now, and the 3.75, which is really 19,800. 19,800 feet is the adjacent leg. Okay, so think about your trig functions here and which trig ratio represents from the reference angle the opposite leg and the adjacent leg. All right, hopefully you'll remember that that's the tangent function. So we're going to take the tangent of the angle, which was 42 degrees, and remember it's opposite over adjacent, so that would equal x over um, 19,800. Remember, we're going to convert to feet here. Okay? Um, to find out what x is, we're going to be multiplying those two parts together. So, we're going to have the tangent of 42, which is a decimal value we'll figure out here in our next step, times 19,800. All right? Now I'm going to assume again you have a piece of paper out and a calculator and you're doing this problem with me. If not, go ahead and hit pause and see if you can finish the problem yourself before I do. All right, when you look at the tangent of 42 degrees, depending on your calculator, um, there's lots of different ways to figure that out. Um, but you should get an answer like um, 0 0.900404 and it keeps going for a little ways, okay? So basically 0.9, and we have to multiply that by the distance way she is from the mountain, okay? So our final answer is rounded to the nearest foot, 
The mountain is 17,828 feet tall. Okay, so let's do a quick recap here. What we do is we have to draw a right triangle because this is a right triangle relationship. Notice that it talks about an angle of elevation. So from her eyes, we have 42 degrees. She looks up to the top of the mountain and that involves a trig function of tangent, okay? Now, did you detect what our, uh, what's wrong with our answer? That's right. What we have done is the elevation of the mountain down to where she is, okay, where her eyes are, plus we have to add six feet, okay? So that's a good example of reading the question one last time to make sure you've actually answered the question. So the final answer should be 17,834 feet. All right, hope you did okay with that and hope that made sense. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.